Yeah, are you living in a homosexual life? Yeah, I'm bisexual for sure. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes I'm always like, I know this is not right. I was in jail for three months, one time only. And the whole time I was in there, I did not like want to do any type of dudes. As soon as I got out, it was like, it changed. The switch went right back on, and it was just like. But I, I don't know. I think you need deliverance. It's a spirit that brings confusion on people, and you're like, oh, why? Why do I feel this way? Like. Yeah. Bro. I love life. Bro. You love it? Be honest. You love life? Yes or no? I mean, yeah. It's what, it's, you, you make life. I mean, it's life is what you make it, pretty much. Okay. And how do you make it? Um, I make it amazing. You know, by waking up happy, doing what I want to do. What's your purpose? Um, my purpose is to. Um, right now, I'm trying to do. Um, trying to do my thing with music, so I can be able to aspire to you, and be able to like start a non nonprofit organization. Go. Because that's how I came up on, because I was from the hood, you know, and then I had a mentor that came, you know, and then did a non-profit organization that I became, like, a member of, and that's how I pretty much seen so much in life, you know. you seen a lot of stuff? Oh, yeah. I was able to travel, see so much, have dinner with Donald Trump, all type of wow. you know what I'm saying, at a young age, you know. Wow. So, yeah, for sure. So, you want to do music to help young kids? Yeah. Not even just so music. I just want to get in the position, you know, the platform so I can be able to reach out and, like, you know, be able to get, walk into different doors, you know, and be able to be in the industry and have that platform to be able to, you know, to speak and to pour into the youth, you know? Because wow. music is cool, but I want to, I just want that platform so I can be able to help, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I know how that well, is. Wow, that's that's awesome, man. That's a good, you know, to want to help people. That's, that's beautiful. What do you think about Jesus, man? I love Jesus. You grew up going to church and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. For real? Yeah. I still go to church. Who took you to church? My mentor. You know what I'm talking about right now, yeah. Really? From the, yeah. With it, you still go to church right now? With yeah, you? same church. Really? What church is it? Gateway. What are you doing out here? Are you partying or what? Well, I mean, Be I honest. Out, you know, I came out right now, I was partying with my friends, and I came here right now, just vibing right now, yeah. Do you party a lot? I do. Yeah. I don't party a lot, but I used to. But I did have like a partying problem, like a drinking and just partying or yeah. whatever. You want freedom from that? Or what? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, you say you don't party at all no more? No, like, I, yeah, I don't party as much because I had to kind of like cut out because I got in trouble, like, you well, know. What did you do, like smoke and drink or what? Yeah. Smoke, so smoke? Yeah, I just smoke right now. Yeah, just you did? Yeah. So you go to church, but do you feel convicted about that? No, I don't. Like, like smoking and drinking or being out here? No, because I know God knows where my heart is at. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is temporary. It's not going to be like a long time thing or like. But what if you die? Life. From smoking and drinking? Yo, like, 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 God forbid. Like, let's say, you, like, tonight was your last night. Right. Like, that's actually happened before. Like, it's crazy. 150,000 people die every day. Well, yeah, but people die from car wrecks. They exactly. Die from so, so like, attacks, let's say, they God die forbid, tonight was your last night. And you're like, when I'll stop later. Cause, and that's the thing. Like, a lot of young people, they're like, eternity's in front of me. I just, when I get older, I'll chill out. But eternity's not in front of you. It's right no, next sure. to you. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? No, so, for sure, for sure. So, what do you think about that? No, I definitely, I definitely understand where you're coming from, for sure. But... There are so many ways that people die. They can just die from going to sleep, waking up, or eating the wrong or anything, you know? So it's like, I just have faith. I have faith in in my future, you know? And I just, I, I, I manifest, you know? I don't think about, like, wake up every day. Like, I don't wake up any day thinking about, oh, this is going to be the last day, you know? No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't move in fear like that. No, no. But what I'm saying is, like, like you know, you still smoke, you still drink, and then you're like, mm -hmm. God knows my heart. You know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of people say that to me, and they're like, well, because, you know, I'll change later. No. It's just something that I've been doing since I was 13, you know? Like, it was something that I used to do just to compress, like, my feelings and, yep. like, it's like I felt problems and shit, you know? But it's like, like, I have I have came to a realization that it's a problem, you know? Like, I'm not stupid, like, yeah. you know? So it's like, it's, it's an occasional thing, you know? When I go out or anything like that that I drink, I'm not going to be bored out or a f***ing hyper as you know? So I'm going to drink, you know, chill out, smoke, you know, just, like, vibe, whatever, but... In the past, it was definitely a big, big problem because I was going to jail, I was doing this, I was doing that, I was getting to all type of shit that I need, I had no business getting to. You yeah, know? me so, too. For me sure. Too. Yeah. For sure. I, I used to do a lot of cocaine, but let me ask you this: I'm like, scared of cocaine, see. don't ever do that. Yeah, man. My parents did, my mom and my dad. So yeah, that kind of I always yeah I, I was raised with. It. I used to sell it. I used, since I was like. No, I'm saying, is your are your parents still around? Oh yeah, yeah, both of them. Okay, that's good. But like what I'm gonna say is this, it's like, like what would you say about people that are still doing like coke and sm smoking and living in sin, but they, they, they wanna they wanna walk after Jesus, what would you say? I would say to pretty much like look in the mirror, like have a um, reality check pretty much. Just like have an out-of-body out, out experience pretty much just to kind of see yourself and just realize 
what are your bad habits you know what's well, kind of holding you back and let me rephrase that so like let me say this like do you think as a follower of christ one who really is following him should like indulge in that any type of sin like that oh no for sure for sure not but i know that i'm not perfect with, when it comes to like jesus you know like like what i'm not perfect when it comes to jesus yeah. you know like following the steps i'm definitely like still like i know what's right but it's like sometimes like i'm tempted with different shit and especially have you time. received the baptism of the holy spirit i did i did when i was 17. okay you yeah, pray again with yeah, yeah. Wow. Because the Holy Spirit will convict you so much that you don't. The Bible says that when He He gives you His new His new Spirit, a new Spirit within you, and His Spirit, like you're not gonna have a, a hunger for these things anymore. No you're gonna get so convicted, you're like, bro, I don't want this no more. Because yeah, no. that's what happened with me. Like, when I received the Holy Spirit, I would cry on Mondays because I had just snort, snorted cocaine on the weekend. I was like, what's going on? I never used to feel bad about this. Now I'm feeling mad. Right. You see what I'm saying? Do you are you feeling bad about like? Um, sometimes I feel bad, not gonna lie, like sometimes I do- you, you live, you, are, you, are you living in a homosexual life? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, I'm bisexual for sure, yeah, so sometimes I'm always like, I know this is not right, because like, I'm not gonna lie, like when I went to jail, I swear to God, I was in jail for three months, one time only, and the whole time I was in there, I did not like, want to do any type of dudes, yeah. anything, I was like, uh-uh, and I wanted to get my life together, wanted to get everything together, like I was just like, manifesting on different and as soon as I got out, it was like, it changed. The switch went right back on, wow. and it was just like, but I, I don't know. I, I think you need deliverance, bro. Like, like I'm gonna be, like, 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 it's a spirit, like, oh, yeah. that, that brings confusion on people. And you're like, oh, why? Why do I feel this way? Like, because yeah. God didn't create us that way, man. Oh, yeah, like, for he sure. Because when I got baptized, my life was totally different. I was doing a lot of different and like when I said I wasn't smoking weed, I wasn't. I I, I never drank before at yeah. that time, you know. I can see you're very genuine. Oh yeah, for like, sure, like, for like, sure, you're for very sure. Genuine. Oh, God, yeah. And and it's crazy because whenever I stopped smoking, I stopped all of that. Like I was, my head was on straight. I was having meetings about business. That's when I was around like meeting Trump. Like I was going to the city hall. I was doing so much, bro. You know, like with Jerry Jones, like Cowboy Stadium, like meetings. Like I was doing so much business with adults. You know, I'm giving them advice, all type of. You know, I was around so much, and it's just like once I started to like do all the other Sin, just like yeah, and everything messed up. Everything just started. Yeah, to because like, God can't so bless you like that, like like because the devil's gonna attack your finances because sure. you're in rebellion. You gotta walk in the light as He's in the light. God's gonna empower you, like. But one thing you do need, I'm gonna tell you this, like some people don't have the true discipleship they need. People like we, like I'm a pastor. I have a whole flock, like like we we, we hold people accountable. What's up? Why are you? Hey, why aren't you at church? Come over here, man. What, what are you doing? Oh, uh, man, I'm trying to stay. No, get, get your brother to church, man. You see what I'm saying? You need that discipleship, man, because, and you need that brother, that family. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get you plugged in if you want to afterwards, but I'm going to tell you this, man. I want to pray with you. Like, like I, I, I believe that the Holy Spirit will help you, and he'll begin to change you for real. Like, you you really want change, right? Yeah, for sure. So say, say this, Father. Father. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Lord, you washed me. Lord, you washed me. I received your son already. I received your son already. Your blood. Your blood. There's no demon in hell. There's no demon in hell. That can stand against your blood. That can stand against your blood. Wash me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Set me free. Set me free. Thank you that I belong to you. Thank you that I belong I'm to you. I'm your son. I'm your son. A royalty. A royalty. King. King. And a priest. And a priest. Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your spirit. And set me free. And set me from free. every unclean spirit. Confusion leave my mind. Every spirit of perversion leave me now. Every spirit of perversion and leave me now. Fear leave me now. And fear leave me now. I command every unclean spirit to leave his life now. Everything right now. Come up, up off of him now. Everything out of his stomach right now. Every serpent that's been trying to kill him and take his life before his time and destroy his life. I break you by the authority of Jesus. You leave from God's son. Don't you ever touch him again. I come against you by the blood of Je Woo! the blood of Jesus is against you. The fire got on everything that's been tormenting and attacking his mind. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Let it all go. Let it all. Let it all go, man. Let it all go. Everything that happened to you, even as a child, let it go. Let it go. What are you feeling right now, man? Amen. What's going on right now when we're praying? I don't know. Just I was just. You feel it, you're receiving. Yeah, receiving it for sure, yeah. Amen. Listen, yeah. My brother, like, you gotta come around, bro, for real. Let, let me give him my information. Yeah, give him my information. Hey, man.